the battle for supremacy among African airlines has been going on for some time now. Even though many aircrafts are competing to dominate Africa, there is a runaway leader among the group. Stick around to find out who that leader is. In terms of fleet, this is how the airlines compare. At number 9, we have Air Mauritius. Air Mauritius does, does not belong to any alliances. It flies to aircraft types, that is Airbus and ATR. As of today, Air Mauritius flies four Airbus A350-900XWBs, which it uh, leased from South African Airways. It also flies three Airbus A330s-900neos and uh, three ATR75-500s, bringing its total fleet to nine. At number eight, we have South African Airways. South African Airways is a member of the Star Alliance. It has a total of 10 aircraft. Five are Airbus A320-200s. One is an Airbus A330-300. One is an Airbus A340-300. And two are Airbus A319-100s. At number seven, we have Rwanda. At the moment, it is not affiliated to any alliances. It has a total fleet of 12 aircraft, six of which are Boeing, trip, uh, Boeing 737s. On top of that, it has two Airbus A330s, two Bombardier CRJ 900s, and uh, two De Havilland 8 aircraft. At number six, we have Air Tanzania and Tunisia. Air Tanzania does not belong to any alliances, while Tunis Air is a member of the Airline Alliance. Both aircraft serve a fleet of 14 aircraft. Starting with Air Tanzania, it flies two Boeing 787-8 Dreamliners, four Airbus A220-300, one De Havilland-8-300, and uh, five De Havilland-8-400. Expect Air Tanzania's fleet to grow by five aircraft by the end of 2023. Tunis Air flies Airbus aircrafts only, two of which are uh, A319s, 10 are A320s, and two are A330s. At number five, we have Kenya Airways. Kenya Airways is a, mem a member of the Sky Team. It flies two aircraft types, that is the Boeing and Embraer. Its, Bo its Boeing family consists of uh, nine Boeing 787-8 Dreamliners, 8 Boeing 737-800s, 2 Boeing 737-300Fs, that is for cargo, and 15 Embraer E-190s, bringing the total to 34 aircraft. At number 4 we have Air Algerie. Depending on where you are coming from, you can also call it Air Algerie. It is a member of the Airline Alliance and has a total of 51 aircraft. Eight of those aircrafts are Airbus A330-200, 14 are ATR-72s, 23 are Boeing 737-800, 2 are 737-700s, and 4 are 737-600s. At number 3, we have Royal Air Maroc. It is the national flag carrier of Morocco and a member of the One World Alliance. Royal Air Maroc has a total of 52 aircraft. 30 of these are uh, Boeing 737-800s, 5 787-8 Dreamliners, 2 are 737 Max 8, 4 are Embraer E-190s, 6 of them are ATR-72-600, and 1 is an, a Boeing 767-300 cargo. At number two, we have Egypt Air. Egypt Air is a member of the Star Alliance. It flies a total of 74 aircraft, making it one of the largest in Africa by fleet. Of these 74 aircraft, 10 of them are uh, Airbus A330-300, 29 are 737-800s, 6 of them are 787-9 Dreamliners, 10 are Airbus A320neos, 12 are Airbus a a220-300 and 6 are uh, Boeing 777s. It has one aircraft on order. So by the end of uh, 
the delivery, it will have 75 aircraft. At number one, we have Ethiopian Airlines. Ethiopian Airlines has been the runaway leader in Africa for a long time now. It has a total of 141 aircraft and is awaiting a delivery of uh, 37 more aircraft. Uh, this is how it fleets looks like. It has 19 A350-900XWBs, 19 787-8 Dreamliners, 8 787-9 Dreamliners, 4 737-300ERs, 6 777-200ERs, 17 737-800, 11 737 Max, 9 737-700 New Generation, 32 Bombardier Q400, 9 777 Cargos, and 2 767-300 Freighters. Which African airline do you think is poised to compete with the, the established European airlines? Share your comment in the comment section below. See you in my next video.